What a grand night it is indeed, guys and gals. It is the holiday season officially, and as you guys know, it is the green room. If you're a fan of fiery, unbridled passion, then that intro says it all as it can melt the South Pole. This place we call the green room is filled with edutainment and has plenty of heart and soul. There hasn't been a second in which I abandoned this craft. It's a purpose, guys and gals. It's a lifestyle. I shall always sing. There's a time, guys and gals, where I listen to Stanislavski and take a beat as I process everything in real time. This is the 169th consecutive episode of The Green Room, a feeling that cannot be expressed through a mere rhyme. This craft, this art, this blank canvas, freedom that we all fill with our souls are reminders that passion is eternal. This heart of mine on full display, I provide unto you wholeheartedly. It guides me. It is as internal as it is external. With a bevy of views on 53 plus pages week in and week out, innovation is our name and the sweat is the sweet. Dedication, labor, and innovation only arrive when your effort is absolute, so put that in the tweet. And in this celebrity tournament that has captivated the masses, the masses, the masses, the field is one of a kind. Luminaries from all walks of life gathering to compete for the pride and the prize. This is truly a sport of the mind. Sure, the numbers are fantastic on 53 pages, not including my own, but what's even sweeter is the sweat. By that, I mean good old fashioned work ethic, wholehearted passion, effort, and consistency never lead to regret. The good bard Shakespeare himself said, our doubts are traitors and make us lose the good we oft might win by feeling to. And those rant words ring ever so true. It means that you're the author of your story. Don't edit your vision due to others that secretly prefer to boo while attempting to obstruct your view. I dub what you see on Saturday nights as competitive camaraderie, and I call it edutainment where we educate and entertain. With 13 grand on the line, a trip for two degrees, and becoming the first champ of this star-studded field, a lot is on the line. But you, our audience, the engine that makes this thing go, are the sweet nectar that we appreciate like fine old wine. So sit back and enjoy this month as round number one isn't quite done. Thought-provoking topics that cover it all, history, sports, philosophy, but you know how we do? We always have fun. As strangers become friends and we all come together, let's remember that we are closer than one might surmise. Limitless visions of innovative bliss experienced by an ensemble is the vision behind these eyes. Never hate the flower for starting out as a seed. Long distance running is essential. This isn't a stampede, so don't run anyone over on your way to the top. Focus on yourself and never forget to cheer lead. Root for your loved ones and lift people up. This human fortune cookie hopes that we've all agreed that positivity is something that we can never concede. So with that, guys and gals, it's about time to bring in our first participant of the night. Opportunity dances with those already on the dance floor. Don't work for recognition, but do work worthy of recognition. Our first participant epitomizes the latter. He was born to parents Irvin and Harriet in 1958 as an artistic revolution would begin way before he was a teenager. Makes perfect sense as his parents went to the University of Minnesota, guys and gals, and had quite the major. Theater, of course, and later his father was writing along with commercial voiceovers and directing plays. Soon this man would trail blaze and amaze the masses through those cool rays as a plethora of fans would embrace and begin a craze and shower this artist with much deserved praise. But let's me digress first before I go sideways. It's a six and a half year old kid who took piano lessons. And he stuck with it a bit beyond senior year of high school. At age 14, he requested to work with two music teachers that definitely helped him pick up more than one tool. It was their help where he learned how to improvise techniques necessary to play jazz. Liberation was evident as our passion should never be looked or locked away in some sort of Alcatraz. He had his first gig comprised of kids in his neighborhood at some girl's bat mitzvah at the age of 12 and a half. Pretty soon a bevy of fans would ask him for his autograph from London to Flagstaff. There was a legend on the rise that needed a keyboard player. In the basement of Peppy Willie, something was unanswered, guys and gals. Perhaps a prayer and conveyor, a man with an abundance of layers. Bobby Z wanted him to listen to this man's demo tape. Soon their collaborative experience would reshape and cultivate an entire genre and era that needed to escape. As they began, their works of art to change the entire landscape. He requested an audition in October of 78, then after three week wait, he got his shot thanks to his talent and innovation. There were no locked doors. He subsequently recorded with the legend, co-wrote in some pivotal songs as well, and performed with him on world tours. He was influenced by the British bands of the 60s like the Stones, the Beatles, and the Who. What about R&B and funk artists? Should I provide you with a clue? Now, let's name some of these greats, such as James Brown, Stevie Wonder, Ray Charles, 70s band like Earth, Wind & Fire, Steely Dan, Elton John, Yes, and David Bowie. I can't count how many times I've rested these bones listening to these icons on my old headphones. 
How about his great conversation in Wembley Stadium with Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stones? Does it get better than jamming with an absolute music giant, a true captain? Well, he did just that at an after party in London with the one and only Eric Clapton. His early synthesizer setup was an Oberheim OBXA ARP Omni Yamaha CP70 electric grand piano and an ARP Pro soloist. He truly was able to entertain and provide a smile to those who were at their lowest. This man has won three Grammy Awards, three American Music Awards, and numerous RIAA Gold and Platinum Awards for his work with the Revolution, and a certain individual I alluded to earlier. That man's name was Prince. He changed the music world. This is something that is evident. No need to convince. His work with Prince included his work with the Revolution, the MPG, Madhouse, and the 1984 film and album Purple Rain, which has sold over 25 million copies worldwide. He had range and more diversity than Jekyll and Hyde as they made bigger headlines than Bonnie and Clyde. From the cover of TV Guide, to even connecting to those living mountain side, our hearts and souls they occupied as they brought us all together and unified. So with that, I don't need a shrink to tell me what to think when it comes to my state of elation. Nothing can calm me down, not even a drink. So put your hands together for a kind legendary artist, the doctor himself, first name Matt, last name Fink. Mr. Fink, welcome, my friend. <laughs> I, oh my God. <laughs> thank you so much guys and gals and pals for enjoying this video and watching it if you love the content if you're enjoying it please like the video leave a comment subscribe to our channel and make sure that you know that we know that the new network is on the rise thank you for being who you are